This video demonstrates the Music Notepad system. By drawing directly on the screen, the user can draw notes by scribbling in note heads. Here we show that different sized note heads translate to different volumes. Chords can be made by drawing multiple note heads in the same column. The accidental in the third chord is produced by drawing a regular note head and at the end of the gesture drawing a stem off to the top right. A flat would be made by drawing the tail to the bottom left. Notes are automatically grouped together and can be moved by positioning the stylus over the notes, pressing a button on the stylus, and moving the stylus to the new position. By flipping the pen over, you can play back interactively whatever notes are under the stylus. There are three ways to erase notations. You can scribble on top of the notes, lasso the symbols and then scribble inside the lasso, or you can do a shortcut which is a single stroke lasso with a tail on the end, similar to document editing. An alternative way to make notes is to use single stroke gestures as shown. A measure line can be created by drawing a vertical line from the top of one staff to the bottom of either the same staff or another staff. Rest could be created with a single stroke gesture that are the mirror image of those used to create notes. To change the value or duration of the notes, you can draw a horizontal line over the top of the notes. This will automatically beam the notes, and in this case, we change the values of the notes from quarter notes to eighth notes. Again, you can flip the pen over to hear how what you have written sounds. If you make a mistake, it is fairly easy to scribble out what you have written and continue. Another way to add accidentals to a note is through a marking menu. If you click on a note head and hold for a moment, a menu comes up. Drawing a line to the appropriate accidental will attach the accidental to that note. Once the gesture is learned, you can achieve the same results through quickly doing the gesture before the menu comes up. Notice that the finished piece is larger than the screen. We can turn on a perspective wall, allowing us to view more of the piece at once. We can turn this sketchy version of the music into a well-formatted piece with nicer looking notes that are properly spaced. Then we can play back the entire piece through a pen gesture. In this last example, we can assign an instrument to the staff. One way to do this is through an instrument picker. In this case, it is laid out like an orchestra. An instrument is assigned by clicking on the instrument you want and drawing a line to the staff, which should use that instrument. Alternatively, you can write the name of the instrument on the staff.